Welcome back, everybody, to Funky the Star TV. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This particular one now about the Supreme Court case again. When then somebody come out, they talk say Peter Obi and uh, Atiku Abubakar say they just want to go uh, Supreme Court go take. Uh, photocopy of the PEPC, okay, and uh, that's it because the fight no go easy for those people to win this case for the court to overturn the election because of Atiku Abubakar. It's impossible. Atiku Abubakar, from he didn't tell you before, and I, I'm still telling you again. Make you go sit down. You don't old. You cannot govern Nigeria. You can never be Nigerian president in that country. Everybody know who Atiku Abubakar be. Make Atiku Abubakar go sit down. Make him go sit down and stop all these games when in the play. Because Atiku cannot become Nigerian president in that country. And it will be very, very difficult for PDP to come back to that power in that country. I don't know when that one will happen again. But for this court case, oh no, nah, not they go anywhere because that is the way when the thing they play out. Oh nah, know that already. See, oh nah, not they go anywhere. So people are getting tired of this uh, court matter going to this court. So my advice to you and Peter will be before this thing will get out of hand, make on a step low, accept the verdict of the court as a court talker. Whether or not win or not win, win taken like that. Because the first time when then tell us see Bola Tunubu win this election, that very first day, we are supposed to take a serious step, a serious action. Not be now. When uh, everybody don't quiet, everybody don't come, all the whole uh, agitation don't come, and now I want to continue to go court to deceive people. I cannot deceive Funky D and his crew right here. So, court can never side you, because the court when they there, all those people, now APC people. Hmm? According to the news, news they tell us say somebody like a passenger they wait for Atiku in the court again. Make it come, me won't become president. Even a passenger himself no say Atiku cannot be president. He don't tell Atiku to his face, and Atiku knows that. So why is Atiku trying to deceive himself and deceive the public? Huh? Again, the news tell us say in America say they won't release Tunubu's record based on on the school when he claims say in go they won't release the whole record now according to them hmm? uh -huh. so now so the whole thing they play out right now make we go into waiting carry us come here they meant to carry me come here right now one headline they tell us it tunubu to lead war on drug trafficking. <laughs> Tunubu to lead war on drug trafficking. Imagine. Imagine how Tunubu won't lead the war on drug trafficking. Uh, we now forget what in the news tell us about this Tunubu based on his uh, drug paddling when he was young many years back. When he come pay 400 and something uh, thousand dollars to American government. For reason best known to him that people say now nah, because say they see Tunubu with drug, okay, and a lot of people know this story. So how can somebody with this kind of reputation fight uh, drug trafficking? Okay, maybe we'll see where we won't fight them first before we continue with our analysis. President Bola Amiri Tunubu alongside uh, delegates of fifty-four African countries. Is set to declare war on global drug trafficking. Okay, at the forthcoming 31st meeting of heads of 
national drug law enforcement agencies africa in abuja on tuesday september 26 2023 so um but this thing is a kind of uh, strange to everybody that will we had this thing that a president like Bola Medi Tunubu want to fight drug when he never even see chance to paddle his own when he want to become trillionaire. So now that one come fight for you, fight the drug matter for you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because the whole world know who Tunubu is, even though say court say not be so him be, but the people know say now so Tunubu be it's not a new thing. APC PDP, we know all of them. So how can somebody like Tunubu talk say he won't go fight drug paddling? I don't understand how Tunubu go get that guts to even say he won't do that kind of uh, thing for Nigerian people. Somebody will never get time to carry his own commot. I won't come fight. Somebody will never feel organized. And remember, these people, that is how they roll. Mm -hmm. What? That's how they rule. They not get your your time. That one now for the drug matter and the Tunubu. A lot of things they happen in Nigeria. A lot of things they happen in Nigeria. So maybe we take a look on waiting and tell us about uh, who puts out them and the um, the things when happen in um, in most states. Then they tell us say who puts out them uh, beg citizens. To help him and the government to investigate one tragic hmm, when happened when we see gunmen ambush some security patrol, they destroy their vehicle, destroy everything. He must take to put on them man. Don't appeal to the, his own citizen when be people from Imo State to help them investigate into one matter when happen. He hear me, Mbano attack. This thing happened in Mbano. So I think a lot of people lost their life in this particular problem. The governor also he come pledge for the support for the families when this thing affected. He come, the news can tell us see, the governor when be hopeful of them can also the pledge that in government will support the families when this tragedy affected according to information when the monitor by society now dot ng on the social media page who's are them uh, come they claim about how the citizens they need peace and harmony and security in the state all right and uh, these people, hmm, most of them are even still they on power. Somebody when no win election, uh, it they come from the same Naso APC people B. Naso APC people B. The same thing when most of them do. Now him, Bola Meritunubu, also do. That is why many people not they believe all these guys when they claim say them be politicians in Nigeria. How you they claim say you win an election when we see another person win an election and everybody knows seeing another person win the election, even the way one take through the election, you know, when they make sense, and then catch catch on the council, cancel the ad ad. You come and tell us you win election. Which election? Which election? 
do you win? So, Uzo Demma and his people, the criminals don't start again. Nobody know who they do all these things. But they claim there are some hoodlums. Let me see. Now then go hide somewhere. Come attack the security forces and some other families in the most states. Who's of them don't they rule for how many years, ladies and gentlemen? It's still the talk saying they beg citizens. Who's of them don't they rule since all this since they happen in Imo state? Then how the city, how come the citizens see they believe this particular group of people? Then tell you say they go fight the insecurity. Who's of them they go four years now when in did that position since when the culture come out? Even when the culture did, not the same thing. They will come tell us, say, they will fight this, they will fight that, they will do this, they will do that. But when they continue with their tenor, now that time you see, see, the thing will get out of hand. The insecurity will get out of hand. It can't be like saying, not them. The concern. But ladies and gentlemen, the news don't already tell us, say, now these people, when be APC and PDP, when be the politicians, now then they sponsor most of these things. Most of these things, when they happen in Imo state, Abia state, Enugu state, different states in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Now, them, the news don't tell us. After the news don't tell us how Samuel Ekman and his group, they take sponsor, they sit at home, where they kill a lot of people, they destabilize the economy in the southeastern part of Nigeria, which is very, very bad. Hmm? Then they come conduct and they tell us, no, it's not only some electman. They do this thing. Now some people, when we see, now them, they govern all those states when they, the southeastern part of Nigeria, because then they fight for power. Even on non-government, now the government of the southeastern, or the people, when we govern us, now them be the people, when from the unknown government, when they now they kind of agitate. Now, the thing don't get out of hand. The thing don't get out of hand. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the government of Nigeria, when be Bola Turumbu's government, they have to release Nandekano so that peace will reign in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Because a lot of news headlines, they claim, see, now because of Nandekano, when they lock up, now he make the... Uh, unknown government and all these things and all this sit at home come get out of hand. Yeah, because if they release in the canon, maybe peace will come in the south eastern part of Nigeria. Because everybody they point say all the whole news. Hmm? They point say now because of the canon where they hold. So government have got to go dialogue with IPOB, got to go dialogue with the Indigo, got to go dialogue with the Hanes Indigo, got to go dialogue with everybody in that nation, not be only the Indigo, because not be only uh, Biafran land, these things that they happen, that they happen in the north, in the east, in the south, and in the west. And at the end of the day, you go see where Bola Tunugu government, they claim say they won't go fight in Niger. They won't go carry the army when they're not get, when they're not reach anything, go, go dump for Niger. In front of war. Does it make sense? When we say the war when they Nigeria, big pass the war when they Ukraine. Of course, the war when they Nigeria, big pass the war when they Ukraine. So the government got to find a way to dialogue so that peace go reign in that nation. She you not tell us in on a day for peace. On a day for peace. So who not for peace? One of he called in the Igbo, releasing them the can, put this in place, then things will go continue to work. I will find out the way when, uh, I mean, people, when they sponsor this unknown government and the unknown government itself. There you go, you go ask yourself a question. What do Governor Saludo that they do? What do Governor who puts them that they do? When all this unknown government they rampage, what the police then they do? Where are the police? The people when they say they deploy uh, from Abuja, from Sokoto, from Kano, from Kaduna, the army is where they claim say no operation this, operation that. Hmm? Where they deploy? So, Una never fisted defeat this unknown government. 
So if since when this unknown government of a thing come into existence in the southeastern part of Nigeria, Nigerian government not fit bring this thing to an end. That means that means uh, all of them are go resign because I don't know on a job. All of them are, when we govern us, when they govern the southeastern part of Nigeria, when not we fight this unknown government, hmm? then all of them are go tender on a resignation so that people when know the job go enter there. Also, Bola Ahmed Itunubu won't be the president of Nigeria. If you not fit, fight this unknown government and put them to end. That means you go tender your resignation letter. If you not fit, fight these people. Not be about traveling up and down, deceiving your citizen, deceiving yourself, deceiving APC and deceiving PDP people. No. So if you are there to bring hope, and the harmony and the peace to the nation, you have to work for that. If you know you cannot do that, tender your resignation later. That's it. So, waiting the governors that they do, ladies and gentlemen. When we say this unknown government, see they ravage the southeastern part of Nigeria to date. And they tell us, see, they won. That is what they campaign on. Oh, now then go fight her off. Now then go do this. Now then go do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, now so the matter be. So, may we conclude this segment with one particular topic where they tell us, say, Oba uh, Seki of a state and his running mates, I mean, is a deputy governor. Then they fight death, ladies and gentlemen. Then they fight like never before. The news tell us see, recently, some few days back, a, the deputy governor, I think his name is Shaib, that man with his entourage, they, they decided to go to the office of the man. When they get there, Obaseki and his group, when be the governor, they don't lock up the office of the man. When be, according to the news, they send a one story building where the man there. In a government house, they don't lock up the gates. A uh, reason best known to Obaseki, but later they can't come back. Say no, say they don't inform the deputy. Uh, say uh, he won't relocate to another location. They don't inform him before. And uh, I now understand that. But one man can't come out. Can they claim, say? This particular position will be deputy position, that is uh, the deputy governor position. Say himself no understand the whole situation because um, say even the deputy governor not get any particular thing when in the do. That is, he not get any particular thing when the, the person when the deputy governor of each state, ladies and gentlemen, not really uh the state. When they talk about generally. And the man can come back on, they tell us the story when concerning uh, Yaradua and um, Yaradua and uh, Good Lord Jonathan. The man can see the time when, by the time when Yaradua start to the sick, until the day when Yaradua die, Jonathan no know. 